Back to our own history, the first species, the humanoids, had reached Earth around 150 years before the reptilians and they built some colonies on the former continents. There was a large colony on the continent you call Antarctica, today and another one in the continent you call Asia, today. These people lived together with animal-like saurians on the planet without problems. When the advanced reptilian species arrived in this system, the humanoid colonists from Procyon tried to communicate peacefully, but they were not successful and a global war started within months. You must understand that both species were interested in this young planet not for his biology and undeveloped species, but for only one reason, raw material, especially copper. To understand this reason, you must know that copper is a very important material for some advanced species, even today, because it is, together with some unstable materials, able to produce new stable elements if you induce a high electromagnetic field in the right angle with a high nuclear radiation field to produce an overcrossing of fluctuating fields. The fusion of copper with other elements in such a magnetic-slash-radiation field chamber can produce a force field of special nature that is very useful for various technological tasks, but the base for this is an extremely complex formula you are not able to discover because of the restrictions of your simple mind. Both species wanted to have the copper of planet Earth and for this reason they fought a not very long war in space and orbit. The humanoid species seemed to be successful during the first time, but in a last battle the reptilians decided to use a mighty experimental weapon, a special kind of fusion bomb which should destroy the life forms on the planet but should not harm the valuable raw materials and the copper. The bomb was fired from space and detonated at a point of your planet you call Middle America today. As it detonated in the ocean, it produced an unpredictable fusion with hydrogen and the effect was much stronger than the reptilians had expected. A deadly radiation, an overproduction of fusion oxygen, a fallout of different elements and a nuclear winter for nearly 200 years were the result. Most of the humanoids were killed and the reptilians lost their interest on the planet after some years for, even for us, unknown reasons, maybe because of the radiation. Planet Earth was on its own again and the animals on the surface died. By the way, one result of the fusion bomb was the fallout of different elements and materials created in the burning process and one of those materials was iridium. Your human scientists today see the iridium concentration in the ground as an evidence for an asteroid impact that killed the dinosaurs. That is not true, but how should you know that? Well, most of the dinosaurs died not all in the detonation but in the bad things which came after the war, especially in the nuclear winter and in the fallout. Nearly all dinosaurs and reptilians were dead within the next 20 years. Some of them, especially those in the oceans, were able to survive for the next 200 to 300 years even in this changed world, but these species also died, because the climate had changed. The nuclear winter ended after 200 years, but it was colder on Earth than before. Despite the cataclysm, some species were able to survive, fish, like the sharks, birds, little creepy mammals, your ancestors, various reptiles like crocodiles, and there was a special kind of small but advanced dinosaurs which had developed together with the last large animal reptilians like the species you call Tyrannosaurus. This new reptile was walking on two legs and looked a little bit like your reconstruction of an iguanodon, it originated in this family, but it was smaller around 1.50 meters tall.